Jo here, founder of Freckles, and today I want to tell you why you are so much more likely to get a job or job interview if you write a cover letter. Now many of you may already write cover letters, which is fantastic, but I think you'd be surprised at how many people don't. And if you haven't previously written a cover letter, I want you to take away from today why maybe next time you apply for a job, you just spend a little bit of time putting one together. When you're applying for a job, it's likely that the person reading your application has no idea who you are. And so using a cover letter is a chance for you to introduce yourself, tell them who you are, tell them a bit about your experience and why the job that they are advertising for is your dream job and why you would really add value to them, their family or the team that you're applying to join. It doesn't have to be long, so a cover letter can be just a couple of simple paragraphs. It doesn't need to be pages and pages. Um, it needs to be nicely set out though, and you need to take attention to detail such as kind of sentences, capitals, spelling, um, those kind of things. Um, but it's a chance to present your best self. I also did some quick research into the can some of the candidates we have currently working, and I found that nine in 10, or just over 90% of them, have written cover letters specific to that job. And I think that's really telling to how powerful they really are. Another reason why they're so powerful is that we often see in nannying lots of people applying to become a nanny who haven't necessarily got lots of experience. So you may have experience working in a nursery or you may have informal experience looking after nieces or nephews or hoping at your local church group, um, something like that. And if you write a cover letter, you can bring all of that into the fold. So you can explain why you're transitioning out of a nursery why you're to be part of a family or why your experience in an office is going to be really great in a family setting and organising the children and how your informal experience looking after you know, your three-year-old niece is going to provide you with the age experience that's required. They're not just words on a piece of paper, they're really powerful, they're one of the most powerful tools you have and I really would urge you to do them. However, on that note, do not write a generic cover letter. So, I thought when I was at university I could outsmart recruiters by writing a generic cover letter. You can't. I, we recruit day in, day out, and it is so obvious, and I'm afraid if you write a generic cover letter, that's pretty much an outright no, unless you're exceptional. So my advice, take a little bit of time, put together a cover letter. I have created a template one for you um, so that you can kind of see what they're like and just send it in, and I think you'll be surprised at how many more responses you get to your applications. So that's it from me. I will be back next week with another video on anything and everything to do with nannying, childcare and children.